This is how the planets are born from our sun. It starts as a ring ejected from the sun's equator, which is a plane of maximum centrifugal force. As this ring moves farther away from the sun, it slowly tilts sideways as this ring will conform to curvature of the cone of energy in which the sun is the apex. We covered this explanation why planetary orbits seem to intersect. At this position, this ring is no longer under the influence of the sun's plane of maximum centrifugal force. As a result, it bounced back and recondensed towards the sun. A new planet is then born as they push each other away due to their mutual centrifugal force. The newborn planet will repeat this process to give birth to Moon as it journey back towards the base of a cone of energy of low potential in spiral direction. Our solar system has a perfect timeline as we can see all this process happening at once. Jupiter is now in the process of ejecting rings as what Saturn already did and will soon recondense to give birth to more moons. The farthest planet were losing grip to their increasing number of moons due to lowering gravitational influence as they near towards complete dissolution.